to study. So for which I am opening my mobile visor here. Okay, to share my mobile device screen, I'm just connecting this visor app so that I can find my device. Okay, visor. Android. So uh, here uh, I just connected my mobile device. So see if you observe this one activity launcher. To cross check this one, I'm going to use a Play Store. From where I'm searching for. activity launcher say I'm searching for this app in a Play Store and uh, I'm just trying to install this app so let me copy the screenshot and uh, update it in our running notes so this is the app which we need to install on our mobile device activity launcher so to cross check this one uh, marking this one so that we can understand clearly so here you have an install button whereas for me I already installed that that's the reason it's displaying as an uninstall option for me so copy that and update the screenshot so once after we installed this app on the mobile device say uh, somewhere you can find this uh, app uh, here this is an activity launcher so once uh, it was uh, installed we can find an icon on our mobile device okay so we can find an icon on our mobile device so here let me capture the screenshot of that uh, icon to So here is the activity launcher in my mobile. So for this, I no need to install this one on my laptop or anywhere. Just I just need to install it on my mobile device. And after that, click on the above highlighted icon. So I just clicked on that icon on my mobile device. So here see, I'm clicking on this activity launcher. From where you need to select all activities. See you have a drop down recent activities and all activities. I just selected all activities from the drop down. Select activities from the drop down. Okay, so whenever you have selected all the activities, so what are all the activities we have in the mobile phone? It means all the app information it will display here. From where? Select the desired app. Whenever you click on a desired app, see here, com.android.androidui is a package name. And a main activity is the activity name. So here, click on the desired application it will display various activities like below from where simply copy it and we can use it in our program okay we can use it in our program so to cross check this one I'm just highlighting this one here this is an app and this is a package and I'm changing this screenshot copy it okay and I am updating this running notes that's it so this is the way how can we identify a package name and as well as an activity name for any application in our mobile device using an activity launcher app Okay, using an activity launcher app, even we can perform this operation too. Okay, is this fine clear for you all?
Manisha, Sri Divya, and everyone. Guys, over here, I would like to give you some basic commands with the examples. So to perform this action, what I am going to do means, in the previous chapter, we have a finished about the complete eclipse configuration. Okay, so in the last chapter, we finished about complete eclipse configuration. Right, so here within the eclipse editor, if you observe, um, we created a project with the name as a batch at 01 to which we added a two different jar files one is a java client and another one is a selenium java 2.53 so we added a two different jar files now i'm creating a new package for our reference so here right click new package examples and in which i'm creating a new java class and here scenario one so i just created a new java class here guys okay i just created a new java class here okay so once we are done with this java class creation so the next point of what we need to do is we need to write down a basic example to perform these operations. So here, how can we use this send keys a command, a click a command, a get context handle, find elements and all these commands. How can we get all these information? So first of all, let's use these send keys and a click a command in our today's session. So for that, what I'm doing right now, see, if you guys remember, whenever we are working on, okay, so whenever we are, okay, so whenever we are working on these uh, Android devices or anything here, so if you remember, we need to pass the desired capabilities. We need to pass the desired capabilities. For these the design capabilities also, if you observe these running nodes, okay, if you observe the running nodes, it contains what are all the various capabilities that we need to pass. See here, we need to pass an automation name, platform name, platform version, and then device name, app. So all these information is there. So from this bunch, what I'm doing means design capabilities space cap is equal to new design capabilities. Okay, so I just created an object to a design capabilities and then from here we need to pass the various parameters of whatever we have seen. So here the various parameters like see automation name platform name let me make a note what are all the things we need to pass automation name platform name platform version device name okay so what else automation name platform name device name and app app information so these are all the various parameters that we need to pass okay so here let me scroll down these running nodes and let me perform this one okay for that so here what i'm doing means create a new java class for the project whatever we have created in the previous chapter okay in the previous chapter we have created a project to that particular project i just want to create okay i just want to create a java class we need to pass desired capabilities 
to our program. What are all the various uh, capabilities we need to pass? These uh, five capabilities uh, we need to pass. So which are automation name, right? Which are automation name, platform name, platform version, and the device name and specifically the application information so these are all the various parameters which we need to pass for the desired capabilities fine so how these are desired capabilities will apply okay so what i'm doing right now means caps dot i would like to set capability what exactly i would like to set set capability so from where the first one we need to pass is about the automation name so here i'm passing automation name and here i'm working on an apm hence i pass it this parameter as an apm okay automation name apm and the next parameter is a platform name so caps the dot set capability platform name the targeted platform on which I would like to execute Android is the platform on which I would like to execute and then the another parameter is a platform version so the device a platform version so here is my visor app on which I'm going to settings and then about the phone device information so the platform version is 5.0.2 okay so 5.0.2 caps dot set capability device name okay and then the next one is device name followed by platform version so here platform version which is 5.0.2 and my device name is an android itself so for this device i'm giving a name as an android itself okay four different parameters we pass caps dot set capability so here as a last parameter we need to pass the app information see here if you observe the last parameter is an app information so in this particular case what we are doing means we are passing the application apk file location to this whatever the app you would like to work on for that particular app the apk file information i would like to pass it out over here okay i would like to pass that uh, apk file information here so what i'm doing right now so here the parameter i need to pass is an apk file so I have my APK files on my desktop. So here I would like to get India Mart application properties. So this is the location of that particular APK file. Copy it. Go back to the program. Slash. So here is India Mart dot APK. This is the one. So then up to here so I'm just passing entire parameter that's it so here see users desktop apm indiamata.com is an apk file whatever we have a passed that's it so here generally for the applications whatever you would like to test majority of the cases we can pass these apk file automatically your application will be launched 
okay so once after we passed all these uh, parameters let me update uh, this one with this uh, screenshot so i just uh, captured a screenshot uh, to these uh, running nodes this is the way how exactly we can pass the parameters so once uh, we passed uh, all these uh, parameters the next and uh, most important thing we need to create uh, is uh, we need to create an object to android driver space driver is equal to new android driver so i created an object to this android driver control shift and o for this android driver we need to pass two different parameters the first parameter is where exactly the apm server is running as a first parameter and the second parameter is the desired capabilities url of the apm server and another one is the capabilities so here i am passing the second parameter as a caps and the first parameter is an apm url on which the apm server is running so here let me okay so what i am doing means so let me start this apm server first okay let me start this apm server so that we can understand on which port this apm server is running okay fine okay uh, it will take a couple of seconds to load this uh, apm server like load it so prayer that uh, i am updating this one here with this so new url so url i am storing this entire url in a ur variable okay so what i am doing means the url value http usually it's gonna start on a port as a 4723 so here okay so this is how my apm server got started so start it see if you observe the port number it's gonna start on a 4723 itself see the apm was listening on a port of 4723 so here i passed this one as a 12700.14723 for which web driver instance of a hub and then i'm passing this a url so here this a url means on which port your apm server was started we need to pass that a url so here on which port your apm server was started on which port your apm server was started we need to pass that information that's it guys if you observe this is the basic information i have given i haven't given any much information now let me try to run the script and check out how it's going to work so right click run as a java application okay so let's see how this is going to work okay okay so it's getting executed on my mobile device i don't have this okay india mart application installed so far the india mart application was not at installed on my mobile device okay so uh, once we pass it this information it will take a couple of uh, seconds to execute this uh, step okay so uh, here in the meantime uh, let me update these uh, running nodes see here if you observe see on a mobile device the india mart application was launched and it displayed a main screen here the desired main screen got displayed out over here so as i have asked it to specify this info it launched that stuff so let me update these running nodes with the points so once after you have a specified we need to create 
an object to android driver for which we need to pass two parameters they are the apm server url and the desired capabilities so here the apm server url we are passing with this one and this is the way how you need to do updated info that's it so this is how it will looks like okay so once after we are done up to here start your apm server start your apm server and run execute your program okay start your this one and execute your program on the connected mobile device the specified app will launch that's it on the connected mobile device the specified app will launch that's it so this is the way how can we execute this stuff on an real device okay on a real device see here my intention is i don't want to execute my script on a real device so scenario 1 launch app on real device okay so again what i am doing means see this is the one uh, script i have a uh, created i am copying this uh, whole script and i am creating a new script okay scenario 2 launch app on emulator which is a virtual device so i just uh, copied my complete uh, code and i pasted it out over here so if you observe the device name earlier i passed it as an android as i would like to run my script on an emulator i just uh, changed this name to emulator that's it and if you cross check this one okay let me check out whether the india mart is there or not here we have this uh, india mart application on this uh, device okay so uninstall this simply i am just uninstalling that app on my virtual device and now let's see here so so developer tools let me okay i uninstall that app uninstall okay okay sorry actually i was uh, i forgot to click on this button so let me click on that uninstall button see what i am doing means on my mobile emulator i have already these virtual uh, this uh, india mart app is there i am uninstalling that app from my mobile device uh, virtual device first that's it and in my program i just uh, changed my device name to emulator and even uh, the android platform version also we need to check out let it uninstall this app first so that uh, we can check the device uh, information so i am going for this uh, this one and uh, here i would like to know this android version so if you observe this one the device uh, information emulator 1 android platform 7.0 so here i'm changing this version to 7.0 okay so i'm changing this version to android 7.0 that's it that's it so now let me rerun this program check out whether your server is running or not yeah my server is still running now run this script i just changed the two parameters for this emulator and i am trying to execute my test script so it should install this app okay it should install this app on the emulator and even it should launch that particular app as well okay it should launch that app on that emulator so this is the way how can we install an app and as said yesterday 
it will consume more time in order to execute the script on an emulator so the android emulator script execution will take a more time okay it's not like a real device so it will take a more time to execute the script on that emulators okay it will take a more time to execute the script on that emulators okay and even while running the script if you study this log okay so it will gives you the clear cut information about the actions it is performing on the device okay it will gives you a clear cut information about the actions it is a perform so it will take uh, some time guys to install this app on an emulator but this is the way how can we install that okay this is the way so uh, this is the first scenario and and uh, see uh, let me make a note so here scenario 1 launch app on real android device and uh, let me create a new scenario launch app on android virtual device which we can call it as an emulator so i just want to execute it on an android a virtual device which is an emulator okay so here so in the above scripts we need to change the device name to emulator and platform version to emulator version okay emulator version so here this is an emulator and this is the star below is the code snippet okay below is the code snippet for this one so here if you observe these running nodes so this is the way your code will looks like that's it so once we are done automatically the app will be installed it will take some time to install the app on this emulator okay it will take some time to install the app on the emulator okay fine so here so here it, it will take some time it will take some time and then it will execute that okay so let me make a note out over here it will take it will take a more time to execute the script on the emulator than a real device okay it will take more time to execute the script on an emulator than a real device fine uh, Manisha, Sridivya and others is this point clear for you all or do you have uh, any questions for me on this is this point clear for everybody or do you have uh, any questions for me Manisha, Sridivya cool done up to here so uh, once uh, we are uh, done up to here see to get these a uh, device a name a uh, device a platform version so what i am doing means see i am selecting this uh, android virtual device i am just uh, opening this uh, android virtual device manager in which the list of a uh, created devices and a platform version will display for us here itself the platform version it will display here only so take this uh, screenshot and uh, paste it out and a platform version for the emulator we can find it from AVD manager as a below okay AVD manager as a below that's it so done up to here so from here we can identify the Android version and everything if you have uh, any questions then uh, we can simplify this one too here this is the platform version AVD manager this is the platform version 
copy it, update the running notes. That's it. So this is the way how can we specify this information. So this is the way how we can execute the script on both the uh, real see here the India Mart was installed and even it, it will open the app as we are not uh, looking into the emulator it closed that but even if you observe the India Mart app got uh, installed okay, copy the screenshot after the script execution you can find the installed app on the emulator too As I asked it to work on an India Mart, it successfully installed this app. So copy this emulator screenshot till here and update it to here. That's it. So this is the way how can we run your program. Am I clear for you all or do you have any questions? And now here what we can do means me add an important point out over here that's the most important point so the point of which I would like to add over here is here we specified APK file as an app so that it is directly launching the app we can even pass package name and activity name so that the desired activity will be launched. What does it mean? The desired activity will be launched. To cross check, um, to cross check this, I'm opening my mobile device okay my mobile device and navigating to activity launcher app navigating to an activity launcher app in which click on India Mart app that's it okay to cross check this one so visor from where I'm just navigating to activity launcher all the activities recent activities and I'm changing it to all the activities from where search for India Mart app so here we have an India Mart app click on this one see the India Mart app contains main activity notification activity OTP activity slash screen activity so to cross check this scenario scenario 3 launch the application with package name and activity name launch the app with okay launch the app with the package name and as well as an activity name this is the scenario so what I'm gonna do right now means okay so what I'm gonna do right now means so the steps are copy paste previously created structs so here this is the script I'm copying and I'm pasting it out over here and I'm naming it as scenario 3 launch app on real device using activity name okay so launch app on an real device using an activity name So scenario 3, launch app on 
real device using activity that's it i just created this one so copy these codes oh so here we need to modify few things guys so here it's not an see guys if you observe i have a given a spelling for this as emulator so this is a wrong spelling okay so i have a given this one and it is my android name and my device version is a 5.0.2 and i don't want to set this platform name or else the application so here caps dot set the capability package and name so this is the one and another one is caps dot set capability activity name so i have a given as an activity name two different activities so from my avd or else this screen i'm giving the activity as a otp activity see here otp activity i'm giving this one otp activity okay otp activity so whatever the activity we have a before that the name which we can call it as an package name com dot india mart dot m is a package name so here com dot india mart dot m see that's what let me cross check the names c o m dot i n d a a m a r t dot m and the o t t activity that's it so let me rerun this a program and see how this is going to work on my mobile device okay so it's showing some error messages see if you observe in the log the first one is an unknown server side exception comes into picture the actual error is the desired capabilities must include either app package and an app activity so here the parameters which i passed is so here it is not a package name app package app activity that's what i passed here and now let me rerun this program let's see again if it is throwing any error messages okay or not so as a, the difference a between a specifying the apk file and as well as an activity is whatever the activity you have a specified it will launch that particular activity whenever you are going for an activity launcher okay whenever you are going for activity launcher it will launch that particular activity itself rather than launching an app main scenario okay rather than launching an app main scenario it will directly launch this app activity itself okay so either this activity or main activity so i pass this one as an main activity so to cross check this one let me open this activity launcher the spelling is m a i n activity that's it so when i rerun this program again whatever the main activity is there on that app so let me try to rerun this code so here it will take some time to launch this program okay it will take a few seconds to launch this one okay so the ultimate point is based on the activity whatever you have a specified it will launch the desired activity in the app that's it see here guys earlier the screen whatever it got loaded is a differ from the screen whatever it loaded right now okay so whatever it uh, launched now the difference is uh, here we specified it as a main activity hence it skip the basic information and directly launch the main screen here that's a simple point so let me change this one print screen update this screenshot this is a thing we need to change 
in our program and code snippet update it here okay change the okay change the activity to the desired one automatically automatically okay so automatically in the device it will launch the specified app it will launch the specified app done so this is the way how can we execute at this particular script okay manisha sridivya is this point clear for you all or do you have a, any question for me on this manisha and sridivya am i clear for you both cool done up to here so this is the basic concept which i have for the today's class guys so in the tomorrow's class i will show you the another examples